We um, work at our pace that we can, you know. We're all trying to be professional skateboarders. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're really on the slide. No. So, you know, I mean, we just take our time, really. I mean, we just want to do it at our own pace. We don't really, I mean, we operate best under some sort of pressure, but, you know, this is supposed to be fun, you know, so we're going we're gonna to do it the way we want to, which is, you know, it's a two-edged sword, you know, to say things, you know, like, if you, you know, it's like representing yourself as an attorney or something, you know, there's no set of objective, objective ears in there. Um, but, but for the most part, I think it's a great way for us to work because, you know, we do it on our own time and, and we can develop the songs both, both from a production perspective and while we're writing them, make those adjustments rather than writing the music and then just going in and sort of documenting what you play live. Um, the, the recording of it will inform the live performance more this time, I think. Yeah, I'm really excited about the way it sounds so far. Um, is it a home studio or is it a... That's it, like a facility. It's an actual yeah. studio. We share it with uh, Paul, Paul Barker, who was the producer of the last record. He's not, he's not working on this record, but uh, we kind of combined everything we had and, and we share this, this space, which is built out, you know, as a studio. Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a great, it's, it's a great little studio. I mean, it's, it's not like, you know, recording the Bahamas or anything like that. But it's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, it's it's very functional, great, great place for us. And, uh, you know, and I think we're getting some great sound. And yeah. Generally, when we really decide to stop fucking around and get to work, um, it, you know, things can move pretty quickly. Um, so, I mean, we write a lot of songs. Yeah, we yeah. write them in varying time. I mean, some songs are written in a day. I mean, we just have a lot of time between records because we have to take a break. I mean, we put out the record and tour, and then you do like yeah gel for a while. Or just um, we we like to record almost everything that we that we play when we practice because that documentation is invaluable when you want to go back and write songs out of it. That's the uh, it'll make sense is oh this is these guys new record yeah it's not a complete departure but like the first EP was produced by Brett from Spoon very dry if you listen to Spoon Records very dry minimalistic sound and that came through on the EP the next record was with Paul who you know, obviously has a history and it, you know it, that was reflected in it as well and I think this record will be a little bit more organic sounding um, than the last one that's pretty vague, but that's that's what I think. You know, and how music leaks these days, you know, it's crazy. You know, we'll be working on some stuff and hopefully hoping that people will buy the record, but we know that in the back of our mind it's gonna get leaked. People are gonna download, we download stuff. It's crazy. That's I don't know. I mean, really people, cool. Yeah, there's no there's no point in having a problem with it, you know. It's like people just wanna hear it, you know, and it's like one of those things it's it's the, the tap has been released, you know, and there's no going back. It'd be nice if it was mixed, you know. Um, yeah. You know, on a basic level. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But anything beyond that, I, I, don't, I don't care. It's pretty embarrassing that people get arrested for sharing music with people. Yeah. It's, it's, still, it's like still people don't record cassette mixtapes anymore. They just get MP3s, you know. It's like, 